October 7, 2021. This one here, I got this call from this lady, I don't know, about a month ago that she, the house was vacant for two years and she was sick and had a flipping heart attack or something and she's back in the house and um, they winterized the house when she, you know, a couple of years ago supposedly. But I went there a month ago and there was a cast iron radiator at the in the basement at the bottom of the stairs that was split and leaking all over the place so when I tried to pull water to the boiler the, the radiator was leaking bad I didn't I didn't take any film on that but the radiator is outside the house now it was a big monster so what I did was I capped that, that radiator off I took the nipples out of the radiator I capped it off and uh, I got our heating system back up and running but there was no heat to the um, bedroom upper radiator. It looked like convectors in the house. Because it, uh, the return went through that other one in the basement before it went to the boiler. So I had to locate another cast iron radiator, which I did. And I uh, was able to find a one pipe steam one. And I had a hard time getting the plugs out of the thing, but I got them out. Now I'm going, I converted it over to a hot water one. I had to drill and tap up high and plug the, um, plug the tap halfway up the radiator. I'll show you that when I get there. But we're going to have to, um, put this other radiator in. It's a little smaller than the original one. But she says that she does, doesn't matter to her. As long as she gets some heat in that area, uh, it shouldn't be a problem. So, I, like I said, I'm going back over there, so it's kind of a patch and match video. I wish I would have got some film of the other stuff, but I didn't. So we'll try to we'll try to bring you along the best I can with what I have for the rest of the job. She's so got four convectors upstairs. They're like copper convectors. I gotta change some bleeders on them because the bleeders are old. So I, well, I, when I drain the system down. I'm going to change those bleeders up on those four convectors. Put a regular coin, new coin vents in there for her. I know one of them's bad for sure. I couldn't bleed it last time I'd unscrew it. So she's had heat, but uh, I guess she was gone for a couple of weeks and she's back now. So I got the radiator ramps in my truck. I got to kind of struggle to get it in the house, but I'll probably manage somehow. I wouldn't have been able to move that other one out, it was too heavy. But the bottom of it was all split from it freezing because they, they couldn't drain that part, I guess. So. These radiators aren't cheap, these uh, cast iron radiators, like a thousand bucks a piece. So you try to find used ones when you can, right? So I got like three hours into this flipping radiator job already, just con going to pick it up and Brockton and converting it over and buying it so it's already she's already into it for quite a bit already before I even get to the job unfortunately she's gonna pay me for my time right plus the radiator plus draining it down and getting it back up and stalling it a shit show mama oh man it's a shit show Miss Paula Stuff. I know it's split on the bottom there somewhere. I don't know where, but I gotta get the new one in. Move this truck up. Yeah, that's here on the 17th. New nozzle, brush down boiler, new 007 circulator, lead radiators capped off, split radiator in the basement. So we're gonna drain this boiler. drain into it's gonna all be bled upstairs there's no purge stations so actually the return is there it goes down to the floor I believe we're just gonna drain everything down you can see I capped it off with the radiator unions I gotta go on this new one. <clears throat> Wash it off and drain the boiler down. This is 
feed bone in. Upper floors, we can shut this off. Upper floors. Not the return, I want to leave open. <laughs> it's going to bleed back anyway. Not much I could do about it. I'm going to get some leakage out with that radius. Go right out here anyway. I'm not worried about it. <clears throat> I'm trying to put this on. I could put a hole in it maybe. Gonna be water in there. It's gonna be a leak in all. This is a lot of water, maybe it was coming out the other side. I did is um the adapters that's gonna go way over should be good now I'm gonna set it in place see what we're gonna do here
under these stairs and I just want to keep it as close to possible that's why I use these blocks to raise it we don't want any trouble
plug that off. I couldn't get this open. I tried. I did as I just drilled and tapped that with a one eighth. Upstairs. So hopefully it don't leak. Like I said, it was a steam a steam one. Mm -hmm. That's all I could really find for the size you needed. You know. Oh, that's fine. I think I left a valve off on the supply. Yeah. Be able to run it. I'm gonna leave you a couple of keys here, radiator keys too, to operate this. You shouldn't have to. I mean, if you ever drain the system down, it's gotta be bled. Okay. Anybody that comes here and works on it will have the keys. I'll leave you a couple. Put them on a string. Yep. Put them on a string somewhere and you'll have them, okay? Yeah, this is a copper convector. You can hear the air coming up now, right? Yeah. And I got this. I got the heating system circulator running, so it's going to circulate. As long as it's got gas. We'll let it. We'll go do all the other ones, and we'll come back and hit them. Hit them all a second time. You want me to leave the cover off so you can vacuum? Yes, please. Oops. Somebody found a toothbrush. Oh, she, she, she knocked everything down. Oh, the cat. Yes. And then she wrote this pencil. She'll roll it from one end of the living room to the other end of the room all night long. And really? Yeah, it doesn't play with anything. Yeah, it looks like a new one. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna run in, so we'll check it, make sure they warm up before I go. I'm gonna get this off last time. Last one is the one in your room, I think. Yep. Yeah, I think it was over here. Yeah, this is the one that wasn't heating up last time, remember? Because it was the radiator connects the loop. Give it a minute and we'll make sure that they're all getting warm before I leave. What? Used to work before, right? Before that radiator split? Oh, yeah, this one really cold. Did it? Yeah. 
you ever find that they're not working, I mean, you might have to bleed them. Okay. But it's not, not rocket science. Uh, would be, would he be, uh... So I'm gonna make sure he didn't leak, Nothing's leaking. Don't look like it. It's gonna take a little while to come up with speed because, uh... So I satisfied a little limit. Don't see any leaks. Don't see any leaks. Right, let's change one radiator. One of them because it broke off. It's good to check that for you to refill the system. All right, Molly. Okay. This place is going out nice and hot. The return's coming back nice and hot. We'll go check the radiators upstairs. This one here was continuation of the return from upstairs. It wasn't working before. Corner radiator. Yeah, it's getting nice and warm now. Hmm. Getting nice and warm now. What? You don't have to put that one on because I would have vacuumed them all up. You sure? Yeah. You know how to put the covers on? No, I was going to ask you. Maybe you can show me on the other one. Alright, you just got to kind of. I mean. They're not easy to put on, you gotta kind of bring them up from the bottom. Yeah, they kind of just pop right in like that. Okay. As long as the cat ain't gonna get in there, this one's warming up too. You wanna vacuum that one out right now and yeah, I'll put the cover what, on? That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Hot yeah, so she's. This is the one we were having problems with before. It's nice and toasty now. Yeah, it so. is. Fine. Right, that's all back together. You want me to push the bureau back? Please. 